This is not financial advice. It's not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only and everything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff so you get the videos I put them out. See them things, see I'm analyzing that data. <laughs> this this is kind of hilarious. I tweeted about it, but so many people were commenting. I decided I needed to, to give a more detailed explanation as to what happened. But the SEC, who never had resources or never had money to go after the bad actors, somehow find McDonald's ex-CEO $400,000 for having an affair <laughs> with an employee. And this is in 2019. And it, it's absolutely crazy. Okay, he had an affair with the employee, I guess a subordinate, and they forced him to resign. But when he resigned, and they gave him severance pay like $105 million or something like that, some crazy amount of money. Then... After he resigned, after he got the money, McDonald's found out that he had affairs with additional women. So because he had affairs with additional women, McDonald's felt that he didn't deserve all that severance pay. And then they decided to claw it back or ask him for a lot of it back. And because McDonald's started acting for a lot of it back and he started fighting, the SEC got involved. <laughs> And the SEC said that he violated disclosure agreements because he did not admit to McDonald's <laughs> that he had affairs with more than one woman. Yo, it's absolutely outrageous. It's absolutely crazy. But the point is, the SEC has money, resources, and time to go after a guy having an affair on a job. But the bad actors are big dogs stealing billions and billions of dollars from retail investors and pension funds, the SEC never has any money. They never have any time. It's absolutely crazy. They they go after these small guys to make it look like they're doing their job, when in actuality, the SEC is not doing their job. Okay? Please leave some comments and tell me what you think, that the SEC has resources to go after a guy over an affair with a worker, but they never have money to go after the bad actors stealing billions of dollars from retail investors every day. Anyway, have a great day. God bless, and I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.